Yeah, go! Go! Heads up! Yeah. Oh. Go, Johnny, go! Go! Go, Johnny! That's it, that's it, that's it! Oh, you! Oh. Go, baby, go! You gotta be kidding. Yeah! Woohoo! Go! Go, Johnny! Score! Score! Right yet. Yeah. Bar none. Yes, hop in. There is nothing like that sound, man. Oh, no, it's the best. It's fantastic. It's, it's the best. Welcome back to Five Minute Drive. We're having a, uh, a blast today. Um, I, I almost don't know how to introduce this young lady. Uh, for one thing, she's a Malibu realtor on the side. It's, it, you almost have a, a, a double life. That's right. Yeah. I do. And uh, and that's the easy part because when she's not doing selling great houses in Malibu, she's a professional stunt woman. This is Diane Peterson and uh, Diane has a tremendous background. We're going to talk all about it. Thank you for being on the show, Diane. Hey, my pleasure. Yeah, I don't want to take your hands off the shift now, <laughs> though. Today, today I am the passenger because this is Diane's car. Uh, tell me what we're driving. It's a 1998 355 GTS Ferrari. Yes, I, yes I, I've done some amazing car chases. Gumball Rally for one, yeah. which was great. Driving a Porsche, although I like Ferraris better. <laughs> what, what, what got you into wanting to do stunts of all things? Actually, Kojak did. Kojak? Yeah, Tally Savalas uh, did a, did a uh, stunt on that and saw a great car chase, and it was for me. How, I mean, how did you end up? I mean, you don't just walk on a set and do a stunt. I met the stunt coordinators and told them I raced my car and rode horses and motorcycles, and I wanted to be a stunt woman. <laughs> And willing to do just about any stunt available. Yes, and they were willing to teach me. Yeah. There was a lack of stunt women at the time. Yeah, no kidding. So, yeah, I got to learn a lot and then moved to L.A., which I love. From where? New York. Wow. There's a certain cars I'm not going to get to drive. I just have to face it like it. We're going to do a helicopter soon. I'm just not going to get to drive that, no, despite that, how much that I want to. That would not be good. I could drive it, but only once. <laughs> certain ones are fun, and sometimes it's just fun to be a passenger. Do you know how to drive stick? Do I, do I know how to drive stick? <laughs> I've done it a couple times. So Working on films like uh, Titanic, which was awesome. Did you go down to Mexico to do that? Yes, I was in uh, Rosarita Beach, Mexico, for... Uh, well, a couple months. Were you one of those one of those guys that when the when the boat lifted up and you had to fall? Was that one of your things? Yes, sliding down the deck. And, yeah, yeah. Splinter is right up the old kazoo. <laughs> yeah. I didn't drown though. You didn't drown. I was saved. Oh, I was saved. You were saved. Yes. Well, who saved you? <laughs> a lifeboat. It's a lifeboat. You did Universal Soldier. Yes. You did Robo. Yes. One of the Robocops. Robocop in Houston. Yeah, I got. Shot multiple times. Wow. Machine gun fire. Yeah, machine. <laughs> so when you got when you get shot with a machine gun, yeah. Do do the, the guys tell you how to react to that? Well, there the, you you have these riddling buttons and and they're all exploding on you, so you just sort of go with it. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they really only want to do it once, right? Yeah, they kind of like do it kind of like someone getting hit with a bottle. Exactly. Yeah, you only want to do it once. One take. One yeah. take. Because you have to get wired. 
I'm still pulling gonna, pieces of glass. You're gonna survive? <laughs> you did I, well. I, you did I, well. I reacted okay? Yeah. yeah okay. And right. you get a wish, too. You get a free wish. <laughs> you get a free wish. Yeah, the first time you get yeah, a well, bottle broken over your head and you get a free wish. Okay, well, my wishes came true because we're driving in a Ferrari. <laughs> I did, I did a car chases. I did a huge, massive explosion that I was in into this river called the Umzim Hubu River at So night. did the explosion shoot you into the river? Yeah. Did you have to get ratcheted up or... Uh... The, no, I'm, the, the concussion of the explosion wow. threw me into this river and right before the stun, it was at night, I saw a giant snake in the river. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, there's a snake out there. So if the explosion doesn't get you, then the snake will. That's right. Yeah. And how big was the snake? Oh, it was enormous. It was like, looked like 20 feet. Wow. And so the director says, don't you know a snake can't bite you in the water? And I go, really? He goes, that's what I heard. <laughs> Being eaten by snakes or getting blown to smithereens, you're selling houses in Malibu. That's right, that's right. I'm with Coal Banker on Malibu Road. Nice, nice. Yes. And, and you're living the dream. I'm living the dream. That's my website, <laughs> and I am. And I can help you live the dream. <laughs> that's right. Official pitch number one. Yeah. You love to travel. Yes. Where do you, where do you like to go? Uh, I have a, booked a trip to Australia. And so I'm going to Australia, but I've been all around the world. So it's kind of, it's circular. You, you sell a house, you drive the cool car, then you go on a trip, then you come back and you do a stunt, and if you survive the stunt, then you go back to selling the house again. That's right. That's right. Added, added bonus. Those who buy a house get a ride in a Ferrari. So does that mean I have to buy a house? Or did I already buy a house? And you I, bought one. I don't know. You I didn't know one. I did. When you were passed out, I took your hand. I made you sign the paper. I hope it's so nice. It's $10 million. Oh, that's well, all. So one of the cheap ones. No Great. Money, Thanks for hooking me up with the cheap no house. No money down, though. No <laughs> money down. <laughs> that's good, because I don't have any cash on me at all. <laughs> that's all right. You can charge it. Okay. <laughs> you take PayPal? Yeah. yeah. What, what is it about whacking a ball and then going and chasing it that turns everybody on? I don't understand It's that. very zen. Oh, okay. It's very zen. Hit, so, hitting that little ball. The dew on the grass. And watching it sail. Yeah. Whew. And then going to chase it. Don't, wouldn't you want to pay someone else to go chase it for you? See, I really like to do the stunts in the golf cart. <laughs> oh, right. You can do some fun stuff in a golf cart, actually. I know. Yeah. I, you just need a uh, handbrake. I terrorize my passengers in the golf course that nobody wants to ride with me. I don't think that's something you want to tell me right now <laughs> as we're in this thing. It's like heaven here. It's just like a little cocoon in heaven. And, you know, on a full moon, I live by the water. There's a beautiful water and the ocean and the sound and the sound of the waves and um and the small town feel yeah. I just you know i just love it i feel in paradise but what kind of reactions do you get from people when you uh that you're selling houses to when you tell them you're a stunt <laughs> or where, do you they said where do i sign where do i sign up? what for the stunt or for the house <laughs> They want to learn how to spin the cars a lot of times. Right. I think that's a whole business in itself. Yeah. Is that if you buy a house from me, I will teach you stunts. I would take that class. Good. No. Yeah. First of all, you got to you got to churn up the ground where you're gonna fall, so the ground is soft, right? That's the big. Don't big fall thing. on hard dirt or, or concrete. Concrete's bad, right? No, concrete's bad. Okay. No yeah. concrete. You wear every single pad that you can. Yeah. You know, in the beginning when I first started doing stunts, I was like, nah, I don't need that. Oh, now, man. over the years, every pad you can, you wear. Yeah. Bull terrier. Don't the bull terriers have like a little pointy 
like a, no, like they, got, they got a nose like a Roman nose. Oh, like yeah, yeah. And he looks like the target dog. Uh, tell me how, how dogs are like men. <laughs> What's the similarities between Well, they're, they're trainable. Trainable, yeah. Yeah. Okay, right? that, that we know. And they eat a lot. And they sleep a lot. And they snore. <laughs> wait, wait. The dogs or the guys? <laughs> both. No, both. Yeah. It was in Canada. And I had to do a jump on a toboggan on wheels. Toboggan on wheels. And I had to come down this really steep hill, hit a ramp, and sail through the air. And all the stunt guys said to me, don't worry, we'll stop you at the bottom. And as I was in midair, they all scattered like mice. <laughs> That's right, we gotta clean up our mess. Are there real, are there real glass? No, 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 it's all, it's a candy glass. Oh, okay, it's good. It's all fake. Uh oh, here comes the cops. Oh yeah, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to be in this. Yeah, I heard there was a big fight in the park. <laughs> <laughs>